beat it out before, but yeah, basically tree used to be a counter, but not not anymore. Okay. The shard is just so good. Oh, yeah, okay. so you're actually getting some weird supports here. Pressure that Makoto's been feeling. He actually gets zoned completely back to base. So Carl uh, is probably going to come close to hitting six before he does, but Gabby instead able to take down Q. So that's the first blood being... Uh, that roll may have just been to try and secure the rune. Like, he's like, okay, let's yeah. just clear out this wave and harass him. White Mom may pay the price for getting the rune, but... I actually think supports dying to deny mid laners runes is worth it on this in the current meta. Like, oh, last hit. At, yeah. Like, at, honestly, at worst, it's an even. I have a Carl question there. for you. Oh, hold that thought. Hold Go ahead. Yeah. Can they kill him? 23 Savage? Yeah, I mean, he's living for a while. And he's still trying to turn. Yeah, he's good. He's good to go. Backs away. He keeps on punching these trans game heals in afterwards. Carl, he's Maybe. going for the solo kill. He's trying to dodge the solo kills. Oh, but Carl gets him. Dies Koto <laughs> ends up getting him down low. And 23 Plasma Savage, misses. they come back in even more. Hyde turns, wants to fight, not enough. Whitemon making the move over. He has another Plasma Field in two, and 23 Savage will manage to TP out of there just barely. And yeah, Nathan Prophet rush, rushing the vessel against Morphling. They're basically all just playing and itemizing to not give Morphling a game. Yeah. You. Ah, uh, that's not how that works. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> He's burning, burning. trying He's to get burning. out of there. Barely brings him down. More now the roll up though. Cuckoo trying to dodge. Makoto goes back and forth, and Hyde is there to help clean up. It's a blood spot. This is a complete opposite the last game. <laughs> yeah, it is. This is not what a side lanes uh, over their respective heroes on T1. Cuckoo. Chase. Level six. Stun is there. Is it enough? Trying to heal him up. Trying to keep him alive. It won't be there. Hyde now backs behind the tower and looks to escape from Zephyr. Zephyr doesn't have any way to break this. White one. Nicely done. All right. So my question was, will we see Carl one-shot this Morphling with Sonic Wave? Well... I, I think it's gonna happen right here. <laughs> uh, it's not a one shot, you know. I want to see the ones like fair. the full edgy one. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. I like that. <laughs> Too many stats to get one shots though. Oh yeah. No, uh, there's a chance. I mean, particularly because they're gonna have the vision advantage most of the time. Oh, Carl was not oh, prepped for that. He had to link up and everything, and now jumps on in for the ulti. Not quite gonna be able to bring down White Ma Dodge with the living armor. Keeping him alive, has another plasma. And the jump in with the shield crash to finish the job. So he didn't even go home. He went to bottom. The yeah. hell? <laughs> He's like, all right, I'm going to go come down here and throw some nature's grass from the trees. Maybe even find Q if they're not careful. Five Paul's Razor pushing the off lane? Let's go. Why was love and life? They were not anticipating this. The overgrowth oh, the afterwards, overgrowth. they get the kill on the Q. What? What kind of play is that? It makes no sense. No wonder Talon <laughs> didn't expect it. This one health tree at TP's bottom and oh, soda. Um, and this time around, they're coming out, guns blazing. Like, yeah, their draft is a bit wonky and they don't have stuns. And, you know, there's a lot of question marks about how it's going to pan out, but they're, they're playing a different brand of Dota. Oh, and the bushwhack oh, comes on through. Enough for the finish. <laughs> Nicely played there. He tried to do a little bit of a line. I mean, I, I'm not sure. What do you think the timings are going to look like for both of these teams when they actually try and uh, go all in? Although, I have to hold that thought. Oh, Gabby. Down low. Uh, you know, I've never seen a draft like T1, so I it, it's hard to say. <laughs> trying to read what's Cuckoo. going on here. Oh, yeah. Cuckoo's getting Ends picked up. Going down. Makoto, though, he's taking a ton of damage from Whitemon. Dude, this support Razor is doing a ton. And now Gabby trying to chase Q. Does he have another overgrowth? Finds him a second time with the Tumblr's toy. And a second round, Carl with the double kill. They pop the uh, just to stay alive. After split. And I just need to get out. Going early mid game items like Orchid Quap, Razor with the drums, Nature's Prophet with the fast vessel, Diffusal Slark. I think we're going to see Gabby look to fight early rather than farm. Maybe an Aghanim Scepter second for the double leap. Um, they're just all in on constant brawl. And Carl, oh, Carl loses his mana. Yeah, that's not good. That's a rough one. Yeah. I mean, this has been historically the problem with Pop, right? You get caught a couple of times in the mid game and suddenly your game feels almost over. So it needs to get into that first item very quickly here and make some stuff happen. Right, one gets caught doing some warding maybe. 
also blocking off these uh, camps. 23 Savage has the well damage drain and now is going to eventually get killed off. So 23 Savage, good shot for Cuckoo, so he can maybe make a move uh, onto 23 Savage if he shows himself anywhere. Yeah, and Savage, uh, he desperately needs Manta. He's probably going to need a BKB eventually, but that Manta's pretty far away. Bottom lane, they Makoto. found Makoto. I don't know exactly what happened there for him, they but the they find him afterwards. Orchid right on no top. Mana. Gabby jumps in, no able problem. to connect awesome. for the finish. Great find in the trees there. Um, yeah. Especially when you're going in a little blind, but this time around, Treant can initiate. Treant uh, is right there on top of him, gets the split off in time. Now the lift up onto Carl, trying to bring in more. Zephyr in some trouble. The big ol' ulti dropping down from Dawnbreaker afterwards. They get the blink out by Carl. Round two now. Orchid onto Cuckoo, but another lift up. Nice oh, lift. KP is doing so much right now. Cuckoo turns. KP trying to get out of there. Low on mana, and with Gabby showing up, this should be enough to bring down the brew, but he gets it off again. Round two with the Aghanims, and now Makoto comes in, has the roll. They take down two. Back to back, Gabby got lifted again. Dude, KP is doing so much on this Brewmaster. Another lift up after the dark pack, and Carl comes in. Wants to blow 23 Savage. It's almost enough. Can they kill him off? No. He He's got the shift over before the Orchid. That is way too much. Yep. And lots of AoE damage to go through the Shadow Dance as well. It's done with like the double lift up that happened in that fight, and. I mean, I, I don't know. I, these heroes need BKBs, but they're not going to get them anytime soon. Silence there on the Dawnbreaker. And I guess that is one benefit. You know, you just fight. I like this. Honestly, T1, they're keeping it even. And at some point, I do feel like Slark becomes the ultimate late game carry. 23 Savage. He got the switch over. Yeah. Blinks out afterwards. Makoto tries to go for the roll. Root afterwards. Then he takes though. it off. Not bad, not bad. Carl jumps, trying to take down KP. Jumps Don't away, though, the Orchid, and then has the ulti available. They got to get out. T1, they're in too deep. Cuckoo's going to get caught. Whitemon tries to go in to snipe him with it, but it wasn't enough. And now 23 Savage still surviving through all of this. KP on a killing spree. MVP by far right now. This man is too freaking good. Three dead. Yeah. They just bit off a bit more than they can chop. Has the BKB completed? Amazing. Not quite there yet for the NP. But Gabby in. runs on in right at the start. He's got thinking about KP. going on a couple. They have the link on the KP. Gabby in trouble. Forced to pop the ultimate and then jump away. They, I, you can't fight now. Sark used everything. His ultimate and double leap. They need to disengage. Yeah, that is not something that they do well. As you've mentioned before, Carl, first instance of the BKB going to be popped. Can't get anything for it. Right of these trees just in the pit with them. Moves on forward. Gabby tries to take it out. Will manage to get the jump okay, away after. That's big. Getting the ward and getting out. It's just keeping them out of the Rochan pit. Another split. Zapper. Downtown. They find him. They kill him. 35 seconds with no tree. Lift up now onto Razor. And still, Roche has not taken that much damage. So there's still a delay in this. The big problem and is they need this quad BKB though to really team fight. At least that's what it feels like to me. Although KP doesn't have his ulti anymore. Yeah. Can they take advantage of that possibly? Yeah. White Mon, Chase, Disarm, tries to walk in looking for more. He's down super low, does eventually die. But that might be enough having baited out both ults. He has Run. to start things off. This is a good wraparound. If they can find yeah. Makoto right at the start, this would be huge. See or him. possibly Q. Not a bad one to get either. Jumps on him right at the start. Big jump. Four staff won't save. Looking for round two now. KP has the split if they need it. They're not going on him though. No, you, you've got to always ignore KP. I mean, you can poke at him, but you cannot commit too many spells. They do find Carl. Has Blink back up in a second. Pops that BKB. Regen rune ready to go. Makoto has okay. already used roll now. Jumps. Can looking for more. On this maybe? KP backs away, tries to get out of here, has the evasion coming in from that drunken brawler. And disarm round two, looking for the finish. KP still hanging on to that Bruce split. Sonic oh, Wave just barely off the oh. bars, Carl. That was the moment. That's what they needed. That was, oh. That was the moment. Oh, honest, like, I love how T1 played that fight. Just the final, you know, that another one, but Gabby's there to help bail him out. Yeah, they drop it down. Now they have full vision up on this high ground. Yeah. Zephyr tries to TP away, but the bushwhack's there. 
comes out. They will take down the tree. Just constant brawls going back and forth in this game. They have another split from KP. Finally, help your, give your team some attack speed. Help them carry with the shard. Oh. I assume it go. works on your teammates. I've, I've never seen that, so. That's an interesting point. Yeah. That makes sense. Wow. I like it. But uh, I don't think that's why he's getting it. None of his teammates benefit that much from the attack speed. <laughs> White Mon. Yeah, he's going to get caught here and no way out once they just drop the split right onto him. Although they do have a Gabby DD. Is he going to try and get a little fresh here with them? They found him. Take towers. Like, it feels like tower, to the extent they've grouped up, it was just to secure that rush. They'll finally get this tier two mid tower, it looks like, but they're being ratted constantly. Every single time they, if you group up for a lane, there's going to be split push happening in two other lanes. And a fight going on off to the side. White Mon found again, does get the link off, and Makoto a little bit of a mix up there underneath the depth shroud. Stays alive for a moment, but only a moment. Talon do eventually shut him down. A way to deal with some of that uh, extra evasion stuff. Although the Hex. He's maybe he's in trouble on KP, Orchid, but double force. Very hard to stay on target. KP, he's going to be fine. Yeah, they just have to back out. Savage switches into the Slark and now ready to jump around. They're still riding bottom. Oh, They're going to get a tier three. Yeah, that is really good. They're keeping him on it. Waveform in. Savage looks to chase, wants to bring him down. BKB, but the overgrowth is there right at the start. And 23 Savage is the other part we didn't talk about. He has the long range pounce to try and chase them down afterwards. But White Mon under control. Hugh there for the bushwhack afterwards. And eventually they will kill off the support Razor. So all of that said, it ends up only being one killed off as Zephyr, yeah. I think, escapes from this. Uh, maybe not. He nice. jumps back into the side and they'll, they'll, they'll find him. So he he realizes dead. there's a ward there. Yeah, it's, it's the, the, the tree ward. He pings it afterwards. He's like, oh, okay, okay, there's a vision here. Uh, now, and he's still a Shadow Dance, so making good use of the double ulti in a sense KP walks in they leave a penta sword on the ground gonna pick that up eventually i think it? maybe oh. not it's just on the ground 23 Still savage it. runs in they find him broken and backing up looking for more white mon gets out barely no he's not going to think that that should just about do it here kp still looking for another rundown and they find cuckoo able to catch and kill that in so no more slip push coming out and with the lift onto gabby i don't think they can kill him but well maybe they can actually leashed up gets the ulti off trying to get out of there just have the double leap but they're blocking his way he doesn't have a way out oh good jump in front of the slark and now there's no split push happening they're gonna take some going for this rax here Slark does not want to buy back. I mean, he may. We'll see if he has to because this is dire time for T1. Yeah, I mean, oh my God, they force staff him in. White Mon, where are you going? Oh no, a good catch for the kill. And with Razor going down and now a lift up onto Tree too. I mean, that's a full set. Still around two minutes, so I imagine Talon are going to have another go or two. They've just got the one primal split for a little bit longer, but that should be enough maybe to get the job done. Keeping control for the moment. Cuckoo's there. Jump in from Carl. Has the hex. Do they have enough, though? Good bushwhack. Gabby down so low already. Rooted. Do they have the damage? No. Carl already dead for 100 seconds. No buyback. Gabby has to do it all alone. There's no way that's going to work. They jump forward for White Bond. He too will fall. Cuckoo gets bashed immediately upon trying to TP out of there and doesn't manage to escape with the second TP. They all got a buyback, but eyes on the prize. Talon, they know victory is in their sights. Can they finish this one off though? Proc to Aeon Disco Makoto. They need everything here. Going for the throne. They've got to move out and defend. Gabby comes in from behind, trying to find Q. He just wants to kill his old teammate. It's not quite working for him, though. The second jump away from Makoto, still keeping control. KP Aeondis, it procs again. White Mon Morph trying is going to for the survive base. this, but they don't have enough damage. They do not have nearly enough damage. And with that, Talon going to set their sights on the Ancient, finish this game off a clean 2-0. And I think we got a little bit of revenge here from the team coming from Div 2. T1 giving KP some tips. You know, they're they, 
got to feel not too salty about this one, you know. They, I, I think as much as there's a lot of drama between, you know, some of the players and some of the kicks around, there's still a lot of, you know, good spirits going on. And, you know, the, these teams, a lot of these players, good friends, but for Talon, this has got to feel so good. We saw.